Time now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. We've all heard of prenuptial agreements, but the latest contract to gain steam among spouses isn't signed until after the honeymoon. Problem solver Susan Hogan has more on how a postnuptial agreement can help cover your assets and how to proposal want how to propose one in your marriage. When getting married, talking about divorce typically isn't what's on a couple's mind, but it's important to talk about and does add a sense of security in a marriage. Brian Marash and his wife Miriam are past divorcees who recently tied the knot. Both of us have been married twice. The first one ended okay. The second one was a nightmare. This time Miriam wanted to protect her assets, so she and Brian signed a post-nuptial agreement. I think there's a bit more peace of mind, a bit more stability in a sense. A postnup is a legally binding document that's similar to a prenup agreement, but is signed after a couple says their vows. With divorce rates and litigation costs on the rise, the American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers says a growing number of couples are looking into these so-called marital contracts. Any two people who feel that they're in conflict and feel that a marriage may be dissolved should try and define what they would do in the event of a divorce in advance. It does bring clarity to the situation. The terms of the agreement can deal with practically anything from checking and savings accounts to debt and child support to personal property. For Brian and his wife, working out who gets what was simple. What we come into the marriage with is what we would each each leave with. Brian and Miriam were lucky. Allison Producio, co-founder of Divorce Detox, says postnups can often be tricky to approach. Both people are going to have to give up what their ideal is. You also want to walk away if it starts getting heated and set a specific time to get back together. And reaching out to a therapist, no matter how you choose to go about it, is probably not a bad idea, too, says some doctors. Otherwise, the post-nup could be thrown out of court. Currently, Ohio is the only state that prohibits post-nuptial agreements. For more information on post-nups or handled in Rhode Island, contact a lawyer in your community. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.